People impacted by the fires are dealing with all kinds of losses, including no longer having a job. KITV4 Shanila Kabir has the latest unemployment numbers and explains why they're expected to only go up. Almost 4,500 people are without jobs right now on Maui. That number has skyrocketed from a year ago. In August of 2022, 84 people filed for unemployment. And this spike translates to a 5,000% increase, all in a matter of a couple of weeks due to the fire and lack of tourism. Um, unemployment insurance claims are going to, to help to uh, ease the economic burden just a little bit. You know, there's a group of people who can't who can't claim for claim on insurance. If you're self-employed, um, there is no unemployment insurance, and you know those people will be able to get assistance from FEMA. Bonham believes there may be more jobless people, even another thousand, because many still don't have internet access to file claims. Bishop and Company, a Honolulu-based employment agency, has seen an increase in calls from Maui businesses who need employees for both remote and in-person jobs. President Judy Bishop says she's working with the Chamber of Commerce to make remote working between Oahu and Maui residents easier. We could create uh, an opportunity for those who've lost work on Maui but want to work, but where they worked is not able to employ them right now, that if they could come to Oahu and if we could figure out some assistance in housing on Oahu, not just on Maui. Bishop points out the recovery on Maui will be a long-term process. It'll take five to 10 years before Maui returns to pre-fire employment results. Bonham says an immediate solution is building housing fast and get families out of hotel rooms. You go from a, a situation of having a housing crisis on Maui and to having, you know, crazy rents and crazy home prices and we just made it you know it just it just got that much worse Shanila Kabir KITV4 Island News